Welcome to Stories from the Congo Museum. My wife and I worked in the Congo Basin Rainforest of Central Africa with the Bayaka Pygmies for over 19 years. We spent time in the rainforest so we had exposure to the animals, birds, and plants of the forest. During that time, we acquired a lot of artifacts which we now have displayed in the Congo Museum in our basement. From time to time, I will tell a story about what we learned during that period of time we lived in the Congo Basin Rainforest. Greetings from the Congo Museum. Today we're going to talk about elephants. How many species of elephant are there? Most of you will say there are two, but there are actually three. You know the Indian elephant and the African elephant, but there are two species of African elephant, the savanna elephant and the forest elephant. The forest elephant has smaller ears and straighter tusks than the savanna elephant. I'm going to show you some video clips of the forest elephant that I took when we were working in the Central African Republic. On this outline map of Africa, the Central African Republic is in blue and the Republic of Congo is shaded red. The video clips that you will see took place in the Janga Sanga National Park in the Central African Republic near its border with the Republic of Congo. Can you imagine what problems there are filming elephants in the forest? Well, for one, it's hard to see them in the dense Congo Basin rainforest. The video clips I'm going to show you are of elephants that have come to a large opening in the forest called a bai. The next two clips are of elephants that come to a large opening called bai janga. The elephants come to Baijanga to eat minerals in the soil. Some of them travel hundreds of miles to be there. There are elephants on the Bai 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. They need the minerals to help them digest some of the plants that they eat. The next two clips are of a big bull elephant that has put dirt on its back for protection from insects. Look at what he does with his tail and his trunk. Elephants communicate with each other with sounds that we can't hear. It's called infrasound. The next clip is of an elephant that, while he was in the forest, communicated with his friends that he is coming, and then he pops out of the forest onto the body. Take a look at what color soil he has flung onto his back and head with his trunk.
I'm going to tell you a story about a day our whole family went to buy Jamba, the place you've seen in the video clips. On this day, we drove to the park headquarters, and there we picked up our guide. His name was Plaudel. And with the guide, we went to the end of the road where you start walking half an hour to get to buy Jamba. We got out of the truck, and our guide, Plaudel, he gave us our orientation for walking in the forest. He said, now, we're going into a place where there's dangerous animals, so you have to follow my instructions. He said, if we're walking through the forest and we see a gorilla, I want you all to just stop, get down on the ground, and don't look at the gorilla. That's a sign that uh, you're threatening him. He said, if we're walking along and we see a leopard, I want you all to get together, we'll stand our ground, and wait for him to go away. If we're walking through the forest and we come upon a buffalo, I'm going to ask you to slowly go backwards to get out of his way. Those are the, uh, the, that's the advice that he gave us as we walked into the forest. First thing you do is uh, walk down a path and you walk through a river. There's uh, lots of elephant dung that you have to walk through. And finally, you come out of this river, you walk up a hill, and you're going through the forest on the path to this by where you can climb up on a blind and look out and see all the elephants that are out there. Uh, we were walking along and Plaudel told us about a tree that is medicinal. It's a medicinal plant and if you eat the uh, bark, it cures your stomach. He showed us where rubber was harvested long ago. It was very interesting. And then we started to get closer and closer to the by, to the blind that we're gonna be in. And uh, once we could just barely see ahead, the blind framework that was up there next to the by, uh, we heard the sound of an elephant. And uh, all of a sudden, Plato shouted, run! And so we all ran towards the uh, blind, climbed up the stairs. The elephant charged, but it didn't get us. Sometimes to protect yourself, you have to flee. 2 Timothy 2.22 says, flee the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love and peace along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. I think that all of you know what is right and what is wrong. If you're not sure, ask your parents. If you're with your friends and they want you to do something that is not right, run away, flee. Don't get involved with things that you know are wrong.